Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to send Bitcoin from your Coinbase wallet to any place you want. And I'm going to do it in two steps. First, from a Coinbase wallet to another Coinbase wallet, and then from a Coinbase wallet to anywhere else. So let's go. Number one, we're going to start with sending from your Coinbase wallet to a friend's Coinbase wallet. So that's what I have on the screen here. My wallet on the left, a friend's wallet on the right. We are going to send Bitcoin from the left to the right very, very simply. Let's do it. So you'll see on my wallet, if I click the send receive button and go to send, now I have the option to populate the specifics of my transaction. So for simplicity, let's send $20 worth of Bitcoin. Now the question is, where do I send it to? Now Coinbase is helpful because they allow you to send to a mobile number or an email. However, we're gonna use the Coinbase address, the wallet address, because it's a good habit to get into and we're going to need it for the next type of transaction. And this type of option isn't going to be available to you on every exchange that you use. So let's see if we can do it a little bit more in a crypto way instead of a legacy way. So where do we get our crypto address from? Well, at this point we ask our friend, hey, send us your crypto address. So your friend will go into his or her Coinbase account and click the receive button. And your friend will see a QR code, which could be scanned or an address that looks like a bunch of random letters and numbers. So what we're gonna do is say, hey, send us your wallet address and your friend will copy and paste this address either by selecting it and hitting Control C or Command C or just by clicking this icon over here, which is the copy icon. So now that we've click that the address is copied to our clipboard and then your friend can send you their address either in a text message or an email or any type of messaging system and you copy it and you paste it as the destination address and it's a really good idea to check that the first few characters and the last few characters match up with the address you want to make sure that you haven't accidentally shortened the address truncated it either in the front or the back and if the starting and ending characters are the same then probably the ones in the middle are the same too. If you want, you can include a message. And then you want to make sure that the method that you choose to send is send on Coinbase free and instant. There is another option to send the transaction on chain, meaning using the actual Bitcoin blockchain. However, that takes time and it takes money. And that's what we're going to do in our next transactions. So I will show you that. Uh, but for now, if you're sending from Coinbase wallet to Coinbase wallet, definitely do it in the way that is free and instant. There's no, there's no reason to wait and there's no reason to pay extra. So, so do it this way and you'll see there is no fee. For Coinbase, there is no fee for the network. Um, this number that you type in might be rounded a little bit because of the exchange rate. Adjust it if needed and then click send. And you will, of course, have to enter in your two-step verification code, assuming that you have it set up. And that can either be through Google Authenticator, if you have set that up, or through an SMS message, if that's how you have it set up. And then we're done. So we can view the transaction. And that was just a couple seconds, and it says that it's already completed. And if our friend checks his or her Coinbase wallet, they'll see that the transaction is already reflected in their portfolio balance. So that's how you send from one Coinbase wallet to another Coinbase wallet. Now let's send Bitcoin from Coinbase to somewhere else. For this demonstration, I've chosen to send Bitcoin from my Coinbase wallet to my Kraken wallet. And if you don't know, Kraken is another exchange just like Coinbase. It just has different features. Some may find it better, others worse. But for today, all we're going to do is send some Bitcoin from Coinbase to Kraken just to see how it works. And if you can do this, you can do just about any Bitcoin transaction. So let's get started. Just like before, we click the send receive button, click send, specify the amount, and of course we need an address. So here, a mobile number won't work, an email won't work, we have to use a crypto address. So at this point, you would ask your friend, hey, what is your crypto address? Your friend, if he or she is on Kraken, would go to funding, and then under Bitcoin, which is denoted XBT, by the way, uh, in contrast to BTC, but under Bitcoin, select deposit. And these instructions are very important. So in every transaction, you want to make sure you read the instructions. So every exchange works a little bit differently. But here on Kraken, you click the generate new address button, which we will see in just a second. First, we need to acknowledge that by depositing, Kraken is not responsible for any coins sent to the wrong address. So in other words, if we copy and paste the address, but we leave out a few characters or we accidentally replace them and type over with something else or we just make a mistake, it is not Kraken's fault, it's our fault, and we are out of money. And that's how it works. You gotta be really careful. 
So you see right here, I have no addresses available. So I click generate new address, and then I just copy that address so I can paste it into Coinbase. And just as before, it's good to make sure that the first few characters match up and the last few characters match up as well. One thing I'll call your attention to is the last bullet point here on Kraken. Four confirmations are required before the funds are available for trading. What that means, four confirmations, that means four blocks need to be confirmed on the Bitcoin blockchain. And a block is confirmed approximately every 10 minutes by Bitcoin miners. So if we're waiting for four blocks, at approximately 10 minutes each, that means we'll wait about 40 minutes before we can actually use the Bitcoins in our new wallet. And this amount of time and this number of blocks is different from one platform to another. So Kraken's requirements might be different than Coinbase's requirements, and those might be different than Gemini's requirements, and so on. And you see here that when we go to actually send our transaction from Coinbase, you'll see that Coinbase does not charge a fee. However, the network does charge a fee. And that fee goes to the miners. And it's a way of saying thank you for processing our transaction. And the estimate from Coinbase here is that we'll receive our payment in about 30 minutes. However, Kraken uh, might, might tell us that we'd have to wait about 40 minutes. And when it says here that this transaction usually takes less than 10 minutes, what it's referring to is for the transaction to actually hit the blockchain, not necessarily to be confirmed in three or four blocks. In other words, the miners will pick up the transaction and begin to process it. So since we're sending this transaction on the Bitcoin blockchain, we can actually use a block explorer to watch the progress of the transaction. And this is actually a separate platform from Coinbase or Kraken, it's really an independent third party. So what we can do is go to blockchain.com and paste in the destination address. If we click enter, we might get something like this, where we have to specify if we're talking about a Bitcoin address or a Bitcoin cash address. Here we're talking about Bitcoin, and you can see that our one transaction is here, and it was sent about five minutes ago. And at the bottom is a very, very important piece of information. We see one confirmations one confirmations. That means that this transaction was confirmed in one block so far. In order for us to actually have the Bitcoins in our Kraken wallet, our destination wallet, we need four block confirmations. So we can sit here and watch this and refresh the page. And after a total of about 40 minutes, we would expect four confirmations. Now, if we go back to Kraken and refresh the page, we see that the status of our address is now a used address. However, the Bitcoins we sent are not in our current balance. These ones were already here. We're still gonna have to wait a few more minutes. So now if we refresh our block explorer, we'll see how many confirmations have elapsed since we first sent the transaction. Five confirmations. And when we refresh our Kraken page, we see that the Bitcoins are reflected in our current balance. So that's how you send Bitcoin from Coinbase to some wallet address that's off of Coinbase. So guys, I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorial videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. See you next week.